It has taken years of work and millions of dollars, but today the state marked the completion of its first fish barrier removal. The goal is to help save the salmon population. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is in on Alaska to show us the new site. This culvert is brand new and drastically different than the one that used to be here. The state says this will give fish plenty of space to swim and is vital to save the salmon. Water flows through the middle fork of the Newaukum River. This is a significant spot for spawning salmon. But for decades, this three foot culvert was often their demise. These culverts were built to move water. They weren't really designed to move fish. Culverts are large pipes that carry streams under roads. Many are too high, too steep, or too small for migrating fish to swim through. The fish can't physically swim through a pipe full of you know, rapid rushing water. Which is why the state spent $500,000 to build this brand new culvert in Lewis County. It's the Fish Barrier Removal Board's first completed project. Washington is under a federal injunction required to redo state owned barriers across Puget Sound. The board has raised more than $46 million, but Fish and Wildlife says it'll cost close to $4 billion and take another decade to rebuild the majority of culverts that block migrating fish. Uh, the injunction um, against the state it goes on in perpetuity. So as new barriers pop up under state owned roadways, They'll have to be fixed also. Conservationists say it's worth it. These culverts are channels Chinook salmon swim through, which are critical to the southern resident orcas. That they're just waiting for us to do the work that we need to do. The real test comes in about a month when salmon return here to the river. State workers guarantee that this culvert will make a big difference. Reporting in Onalaska, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.